no one considers it a festival, I guess. It's just the clubs you go to every night. It's the bands that play here all the time. It's the promoters and bartenders and door people that you see all kind of coming together for a week to just to just have a big party, basically. <laughs> Three weeks, what it sounds like, it's free for a week to get into a number of venues in downtown Austin. School hasn't started back up, or there are no touring bands coming through. It's just a slow time of the year. So we thought it was, you know, just a business decision. Like, how can we get people through the door when it's really, really slow? The first year was just, just one weekend, and before it was just one club. Now there's half a dozen clubs easily. <laughs> During what used to be a ghost town in early January, it's just, this strip is packed. Old Red River becomes almost like a mini local South by Southwest, but instead of it being all industry people who are there to see really specific buzz bands, here it's all local bands who have a following, and a lot of new people are getting to check out. I mean, a band who normally plays to 50 people is gonna play to 400 people. If it was just a whole bunch of shows and it cost 10 bucks at every club, I don't think it would be that successful. But the adding that it's free to get in, come check it out, is what really makes it special and puts it over the top and makes it something unique. Mm -hmm.